everybody welcome back I appreciate everybody joining me um, got a topic this afternoon about the tractor upgrades or add-ons um, I have done quite a few to my tractor um, maybe overkill I don't know but I just enjoy adding little things that uh, you know think help you out when you're out doing a day of work or whatever and uh, need need something you don't have to run back to the house to get it or whatever I like to have it on on me with the with you know on the tractor um, I have to give the credit for the idea on this video to my buddy Mike over at my wild Cody adventures he had um, when we did the tractor challenge thing that he invited me to join um, it suggested I should do some kind of compilation video of the things that I had added I've shown some of these things in some of the reviews and stuff I did they're kind of scattered all about but um, thought I would he came up with a good idea so I'll put a video together to show all the things that I have added since I got this tractor. Um, I can definitely say so far that uh, nothing that I've added on here have I not found good use for it. So definitely uh, have uh, you know made use of the things that I put on here to uh, help out in several different situations. So anyway, we'll get in close here and take a look and uh, see if uh, you know maybe something you have an interest in and add to your tractor or maybe you already have or maybe you have some ideas of things you've added that I don't show in here that you can put in the comments to uh, you know just love sharing all these different ideas with everybody so uh, everybody's on the you know same page and share all the ideas and add things that, that help you out in a day's work all right we'll check it out all right starting at the front up here the uh, grill guard which I think most everybody that's doing grapple work have uh, you know have added a grill guard of some sort whether you made it yourself or whether you bought some there's some really nice ones being made out there now seen online but I made this one myself a two-piece guard just some expanded metal here did a little welding and it's got a lower section and an upper section um, so that's that's something I definitely think you got to have if you're doing grapple work as uh, you know something can get in there and get to your radiator uh, the little coyote that's just something I added as a, a decorative item uh, that was some yard art that I had found online and thought that would be cool to order and uh, cut that out and stick it on the front just for, you know, looks. Uh, down below there, I have added a little D-ring bolt-on right there. Uh, so if you're trying to trailer it or whatever, and, uh, you know, or if you're needing to get a pool if you got stuck or something, it gives you a good point to tie to rather than wrapping it around something on the frame or the axle. Uh, I think that was MGE products, I believe it's in North Carolina that that's made, but that, uh, and some people were uh, commenting, they were thinking that the little rings might rattle or whatever, but I haven't noticed anything like that as being a problem. So uh, I've had it on there, I don't know, six months or so now. But uh, moving on around this way, um, the loader tube, you might have seen this in one of the other videos I did. Um, you know, putting these, I think it's two and a half inch plugs, I got those off of Amazon. And then in here, I got a piece of PVC cut out. And these are the loader um, stops that I made. You know, when you're raising that loader up to do some work, you never want to get under that thing uh, without putting something, you know, on the cylinders here. So once this is up, you put one on each side across the cylinder and lower the loader back down and let it rest against those. So that's just something I added on there to be able to keep those on board. Uh, with me at all times in case you need to get under that loader out in the field to uh, make a repair or you know work on the battery or whatever so uh, moving on over here I think this was actually um, this is something that was in my challenge video as well um, that's a solar uh, tender uh, so this little connector has a plug on it runs back to a alligator clip up through uh, under the hood that connects to the battery and that actually um, gives me the ability to plug the charger on when I've got the tractor under the shelter. I don't really plug it on in the summertime because I'm using the tractor quite a bit but more so dead of winter when I'm not doing so much on the tractor and it's sitting under the shelter for a week or two at a time. Uh, I plug it into that tender just to keep the battery fresh make it last a little longer. Alright moving on around this way uh, We've got the saw haul. I think that's a popular item that a lot of people have. There's, uh, you know, that it definitely comes in handy if you need to grab your saw and go out to trim up a tree or get a tree or a limb that's fell across the path or in the field. Definitely a handy item to have there. 
right here is the chain holder tube that I made. Uh, I believe that's like a four inch PVC pipe I got from Lowe's and painted it and you know got a couple of straps here bone it onto this uh, arm here to keep it secure and I think you should always have a chain on the tracker. Uh, I got a short chain here and a little bit longer one. You never know when you're going to need to wrap a chain around to drag something out or maybe you get stuck call a buddy to come help you get out you've already got a chain on you so it works good for that and then that adding that provided me with the spot for a phone holder uh, early on I was keeping the phone back here in this little tray right there but you know with the noise of the tractor uh, yeah I, I couldn't hear it if it rang or somebody texted me so this is actually an ATV uh, phone holder I believe I got it from Walmart it's really let me set the camera down and see if I can uh, insert the phone in there without causing too much trouble let me see if I'll be able to do this all right so you just spread that thing apart and it really clamps down tight I've I've had it on there for multiple occasions and haven't had any any uh, sign of it you know attempting to fall out or whatever as of yet and so that way it's kind of becomes a part of your instrument panel there so you're you know always looking at your instruments so if you see a you know get a call or a text you can you know see it real quick the wife says you better get back to the house you spend too much time on the tractor hey at least you'll be able to see it all right up top here i have a little temperature slash clock uh, read out there and this one I um, I had put a couple of different ones on here it's kind of hard to find a spot on the tractor where the temperature is going to give you a true reading because you know so warm on the engine compartment even even all up here and you know, this gets pretty warm from the engine heat uh, but this one actually has a little onboard sensor so I don't know if you can see the numbers on there but the number on the left is the onboard sensor and then it has a cable that runs out the back I ran that down under the hood under the instrument panel and the second reading there is from the remote sensor so i actually mounted that down here below on the steering column if you can see that little round button right there uh, it was about i don't know maybe a three foot wire that allowed me to uh, mount that sensor remotely so that doesn't get quite as hot down there as it would up here and uh, so anyway that gives me a somewhat accurate temperature reading and then of course it has a clock on there uh, all right moving on up to the steering wheel this is one of my favorite items right here if you haven't tried one of these the suicide knob as a lot of people call it i believe i got this one at tractor supply man that thing is a is a breeze in helping you with the steering uh, just to grab that and quickly wheel wheel a little round um, i've you know used those for years on other tractors as well that's a cool little item like 20 25 bucks that can really uh, make a difference. If you haven't tried one of these, I would highly recommend it. All right, moving on around to the back here, up on the ROPS. I did add a couple of LED lights there, and I'll show you. I've got a remote switch for those. Got one of those LEDs like that on each side because, as a lot of you probably know, that uh, you know, with anything on the front, uh, whether it be the bucket, the grapple, whatever you're front headlights kind of become useless and you know then also having the grill guard here closing up that opening um you know kind of blocks out a lot of the uh, light from the front headlights so having something on the ROPS definitely helps you out if you're doing any night work all right coming on around to the rear here <clears throat> up top here this is a couple little racks that i had added i uh, didn't drill into the ROPS for any of this stuff there was some existing holes that i bolted this little l bracket on here and this is actually looks like uh, what's a gun rack, which it actually is like would go in the back of a truck. But I use this to carry uh, if I need a shovel or a rake, if I need my pole saw to go out and do some trim up work, I put that right across there. Got to keep a couple of straps in case I need to strap it in. Uh, that works great for that. Right here on the fuel cap, I have a little tether line. I read lots of things where people uh, had lost their fuel cap. I want to say I read that this cap is about 40 bucks. So, you know, you take this off, you lay it up here, you're fueling it, you get a phone call, and then, you know, you go off and you forget to put the cap on, you drive off, it falls down. 
lost it on the in the grass whatever so this was actually i want to say this may be like from a jet ski or a boat or something i had i just found it in a box in the house so i drilled a little hole right in the you know handle of that cap put a little ring there like a key ring and then just put the tether on there and got it connected up here so now even if i drive off i won't lose the cap it might fall down and dangle dangle around a, a bit but i won't lose it so I just did that as more of a safety measure. Uh, did add the hydraulic top link. I would highly recommend that if you guys haven't, haven't done that. Um, I wish I could do that on my other tractor as well, but I don't have rear hydraulics on it. But that is definitely a game changer when it comes to doing uh, you know, land plane, box blade work. Anything that you're needing to change that angle, man, it's nice to be able to do it right from the seat. So I definitely would recommend that. Uh, let's see, moving on around. Now, I'm going to count the box blade and the stuff I got on that in this add-on. I probably keep this box blade on here 90% of the time. So, uh, especially if I'm going out to do, you know, tree work, uh, limbs or whatever. So, uh, so on the toolbox video, I did, I did add the ammo box there. Um, this rack, I want to say this was like an ATV rack or... I don't remember. It was something that had been laying under the barn for years. So I ended up bolting that on there. So lots of times if I go out to do uh, work on a tree or whatever, I'll put my, my gas can, my chainsaw, toolbox, uh, an axe, uh, whatever. I'll put this in the carry rack. I got a couple extra straps around here to strap things down just so I've got all my, my tools I need with me. And you might have seen on my earlier video that box underneath there it's full of bricks, so this is for ballast. So that's just kind of a DIY rigging I came up with there. To, I put the toolbox, and then I said, oh, okay, well, I'll put the rack on top of it. So that stays permanently attached like that. Um, I added these little carry-alls back here, hangers. I think I got those from Harbor Freight. So if I need to bring a ladder, I've got somewhere to easily uh, put a step ladder or an extension ladder right there. If I need to bring a couple of boards, two-by-fours, decking boards, whatever, to do a project, I've got somewhere to, to carry those things like that. Of course, you know, you got to be care, careful not to hit something that sticks out the side a little bit. But coming on around here, this is the Titan Attachments uh, fork, uh, pallet fork um, hitch adapter. So every now and then, if you need to move a trailer around or whatever, I just put a little bracket on here. I keep this with me. And I've got the, uh, you know, adapter here for just a regular pinned trailer. Or down here, I've got this attached on here. This is the three-way for the ball, different size balls. So I've got that with me at all times if I need to move any trailers or anything that's got a hitch on it around. All right, looking right up here, I did add a rear work light right there and a little LED. Not that I really do a whole lot at night, but I've got it there in case I need it. Uh, the original toolbox that was over here, you saw this other video I did on that, I ended up mounting right there. And I just keep gloves, uh, extra hat or whatever, mostly, you know, garment materials in that box. And then, let's see, uh, right here, I also did a video, I don't know if you saw that one. Um, I changed out the turnbuckle style adjuster for the uh, right link arm there with the... Uh, the one that has the handle that you, uh, you're able to spin it up and down makes it a lot easier to adjust. And right down here is another little thing I keep on here all the time. This little, I'm not sure if you call it a D-ring or uh, exactly what you call that, um, but I got it from Tractor Supply. Keep that on the draw bar. So if I need to hook a chain up there, I've got another one that's pretty much the same, but it's like a chain hook on the end. So uh, if you need to pull something instead of having to try to wrap it around a pin or, or rig something up, you've always got a connector there. To, uh, you know, of course, that might you know, be when you got the box blade off of here or whatever, but you always got a connector to hook up something to pull it. And right underneath, I don't know if you can see that, how well I can position the camera, there are two switches right here, two little toggle switches that this bracket was already here. So I made use of those. The front toggle switch right here does the LEDs on the ROPS, and that rear toggle switch is for the rear work light so that just you know I didn't didn't really want to run drill any more holes up in the dash so I thought that was just a convenient spot to put those didn't have to run a whole lot of wiring for it right here I keep the craftsman it's a little mini blower so let's see it's a 20 volt 
Cut it from loose. And as you can see, that comes in handy for just blowing off the tractor in general, especially if you're out doing a day of mowing and, you know, the uh, um, front grill gets all stopped up with grass and, and trash. It's good to blow that off every now and then, so I got that with me at all times. I'll just, you know, keep a fresh battery in it to change it, you know, change it if it runs out. Uh, behind the seat here, as I showed in the other video, I've got a first aid kit. It's always good to have that on the tractor. A couple other things I think it's nice to have on your tractor. These aren't really upgrades or add-ons, but just in general. A couple of these straps. I've got one here. This is a 10,000 pound brake strength, 3,300 working load. That's two inch by 12 foot. And then I got a couple of these other straps. I just got these from Harbor Freight. They come in super handy. I think this is about a six footer. Uh, when you got the pallet forks on there, which I keep on there probably most of the time, uh, they come in real handy if you need to, uh, you know, strap to lift something up or whatever. I've got two of those six footers, uh, so if you need to go, you know, it's always better to go around both forks if you can. If you need to lift up a piece of equipment, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, it comes in very handy. So anyway, uh, all right, coming on around right here. You might have saw the video I did. That's a little four-wheel drive indicator light right there that, uh, you know, if you haven't checked that video out, check it out. That's still another thing that I wish had, you know, came on the tractor as a option from the factory was the uh, indicator light. Um, but anyway, I added one, so now I know when I'm in four-wheel drive. Looking right here, this is a seat cover I added, the old camo. Uh, something I got off of Amazon. It's not the exact one for this tractor, but I've had it on there nearly two years now, and it's it's done well. It's, it's served its purpose. Um, actually, uh, I think this was for a Kubota, but I adapted and made it fit. I think uh, one of my viewers uh, had commented that had seen this in another video that he had um, ordered a different one off of Amazon that actually fit this tractor perfectly. Uh, can't remember exactly. I believe I... Uh, he, he gave me the part number and everything but that but anyway it's always good to have that seat cover to help protect the seat and try to make it last a little bit longer um that might be about it it seems like a, most everything that i can remember that i've added so uh anyway i hope this video is uh helpful to you from you know some ideas that you may want to add some things on your tractor to uh you know just do some upgrades and make uh make life a little easier for whatever project you may be doing but uh, anyway, I really appreciate everybody's positive feedback and comments and uh, hope to catch you next time. Please hit that subscribe and uh, like button and uh, y'all take care. See ya.